What happens to the tendencies uh, with reference to wise person when the person has actually become wise? They will generate, <coughs> they will generate uh, opportunities to be born in a... No, wise person. Who, this uh, opportunities to be born, this person has not yet finished okay, okay. the journey. Uh, they remain. Right? Nobody gets rid of the mind standards. In fact, those tendencies where you have actually strengthened your capabilities and eliminated your uh, uh, the things which are coming on your way, uh, they actually they make you enjoy the world and it gives it gives you the what um, lucidity uh, and clarity with which you can then continue to live in this world, right? So therefore, the tendencies, even uh, it doesn't mean that once you become wise, the tendencies go away. That's the mind, right? That's your unique mind. That's why five different wise people are not exactly identical. They're different. Yeah. Okay. Could you also be said that the status towards the tendencies changes from personal to impersonal? What is this personal and impersonal? What does it okay. mean? Personal means there are my tendencies, and so it causes anxiety, so uh, it causes the person to go into the world and uh, pursue action. Impersonal means despite them occurring, they do not, uh, they still get addressed, but there's a different relationship to them. It doesn't uh, cause one to be so anxious about it anymore. See, anxiety and all, uh, Andre, as we saw, all that has to be actually taken care of before the knowledge. Mm. You see what I mean? A lot of like anxiety. Anxiety is referring to what? Anxiety is referring to uncertainty about future. That the mind produces this uh, things of uh, fear. All feeling that is small. already the feeling of being small. Mm. All this is already taken care of before knowledge uh, through what? understanding Ishvara, the order. You see what I mean? This is like, you know, this itself is a growth, right? Taking care of your anxieties. It's a part of actually growth. You see what I mean? So it's not like until then you're anxious and all of a sudden you become a wise person and then there is no anxiety. Don't imagine a world of like, um, negative and then positive and from here everything is free and here you are caught. This growing clarity that I talked about, what is, what is this growing clarity? Emotions are already sort, getting sorted, self-image is already improving, uh, uh, the, the unconscious is already uh, being taken care of. Do you understand? So, again you are brilliant, use more human language. Really, this is, I, I'm telling you, you are just, ex your analytical side is absolutely brilliant. It's like shining. And you are very, very emotional. I see that cheerfulness in you. I see that innocence in you. You are just a wonderful person. It's just so much fun to sit with you and just chat. Because you are full of life and you are joking and you are like so wonderful. Really, it's a pleasure to be with you. 
But when you come and sit here, you make it like only like something which is in categories and all that. And here you need to relax. Really, Andre, I'm, I'm sorry to give you feedback because I, you are just amazing. Really, you're amazing. And your natural person is just like full of life. Really, this is who you are. It gets a little bit hidden with all these categories. Right? So, what happens is, the, the, when you make, you try to make it very linear, when, okay, before it is like this and after it is like all of a sudden some big magic, what happens is this growing clarity part gets a little bit, you know, fuzzy. You see what I mean? You make a picture of the wise person as like in some other universe altogether and everybody else in some other universe. You see what I mean? And what happens is the fluidity, the lucidity, the naturalness is a little bit lost. You see what I mean? Human, humanness goes away, right? And you're not that. You are extremely human. I see the part in you which is generous, which is very noble, fun-loving, humorous, very like a childlike. You have that in you, really. And you have very sharp cognitive skills. But don't separate in the name of Vedanta. Draw from all of that and make it shine, really. And you'll be a shining star. And I promise you that. So that means, what did I say? Anxiety is not something which is what the, the wise person, the, what uh, all of a sudden doesn't have, uh, because it, almost the mind has become impersonal, right? And before that, the person is anxious. What did we see? There is a smooth transition. Growth? Yes, which is, that smooth transition is what we call growth. Right. Very important. I am, in my own experience with these things like anxiety, um, I, the way I notice it is that I don't notice it's gone. It's like, if I look back, and like, I, if in the past I would have reacted that way, mm. but I don't even notice I'm not reacting in that way. It's mm. just, it's not happening anymore. Mm. Just notice the change. Exactly. Right? I mean, I think uh, the, what happens is as things surface, you just take care. Make your life easy. Right? Mm -hmm. So therefore, it's very, uh, you know, I mean, make your whole pursuit fun. And it, I like the first day in Berlin, Timur said, enjoy the whole process. <laughs> 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 really, I mean, really, I'm telling you that, I mean, really, but see, somebody's, this whole knots, there are like too many knots, and all, all you have to do is what, remove those knots, and it takes time, wonderful, enjoy, every knot that goes will give you some fun, I tell you, your life will be that much easier, <laughs> and then, it is a way to the last knot, the last knot gone, knowledge. But don't think before all knots and then all of a sudden some magic happens and no knots. That doesn't happen. You see that? Okay. Yeah, sorry, your question. Yeah. No, no, sorry. sorry. <laughs> yeah, I wanted to uh, know. These tendencies, uh, if there's somebody coming with a uh, tendency to aggression or criminal. Yes. And um, <clears throat> you told this um, example by the sea. Yes. Who yes. 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 Uh, to get the truth. Yes. So it's always possible in one lifetime. Excellent. It's possible in one lifetime. Absolutely. And it also changes your look to criminals. You, know, you never know. Just you never know. Absolutely. It's so true what you are saying. I'll give you an example. One of my classmates who has studied Vedanta with me, he's a Swami now, 
He lives in Madhya Pradesh, which is one of the states of India, and he goes to the prisoners who are in the criminals in the prison, and he teaches them Gita. <coughs> and it's amazing what you are saying is, you know, they are caught with such bad self-image, and they are caught with such this thing, and all of a sudden they hear about, you know, Gita and possibilities and possibilities to kind of, you know, and they, they. He told me that they have like tears and tears and tears in their eyes. They come and cry. My classmate, he was saying that they cry to me like children. Yeah. And then that is the point where uh, they said, oh my God. And they tell him that we are so bad and everybody thinks about us as criminals and you have come to teach Gita to us. <laughs> really? Yeah, yeah. And uh, because also maybe they... Uh, they suffer a lot. Yeah, and they suffer a lot. They really and they talk. have, because they suffer a lot, as uh, Kurt was saying, there is a certain mechanism in your brain which uh, blocks that suffering. So at one point you even stop recognizing your emotions because you block that suffering, you can't handle it anymore. Mm -hmm. So that means all these mechanisms have to open up and you have to start feeling things. <laughs> right? Um. Right. So on this film I saw lately uh, where the, the, uh, uh, about the Pope, okay? <laughs> think about the Pope, yeah. Yeah, right. mm -hmm. But in this movie he went into a prison mm -hmm. and there were these weak, strong guys, you know. And they were sitting there because he was talking to them also about love, a lot about love and so on. And there were these big people, uh, men sitting, they were just crying. Yeah, yeah. it's really very touching. And he was washing uh, the feet of the people. He did like what Jesus does, does mm. he wash the feet with some yeah. washing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. also there's this movie about Vipassana retreats in India. They, yeah. they do it with uh, inmates in prison. Yeah. Yes. And uh, it's really touching. The one I saw, that is a Gönke, Gönke of Vipassana. Mm. The one I saw, um, that was the... I think it was uh, the one who's running, like who was in charge uh, to run uh, the prison. I think he was uh, giving the, the retreat mm. for the inmates, mm. and after they hugged him, and they really mm. just they, they cried because they they just felt like recognized mm. and not um, you know not judged. Mm. They, of course, they had to stay exactly. in prison because of some actions yeah. before, but mm. you know it's not but the case. Absolutely. Okay. Right. So that's a very good point, that in this lifetime itself, you can change, right? And so please don't, that's why it's so important to say, you know, I'm not stuck with some huge burden that I can't, uh, this is why make yourself growth as light and as fun as possible, right? Otherwise, what happens, you've given yourself a very big name with uh, some uh, Vedanta, you've called yourself, I'm born with really bad samskaras. Sounds like, oh my God, I'm doomed. Right? <laughs> 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 or you just use the language and say, yeah, I have some issues with anger and I'll deal with it. It sounds so much easier, right? <laughs> you know, uh, it's, uh, you know, sometimes this lightness is something which is so important, right? Make your life a little light, right? Because, I mean, you're using all these things and you actually you're giving yourself a hard time. Right? So just give yourself a good time. You deserve it. Because in the vision of Gita, by the way, or Vedanta, you have done tremendous punya to, to get this teaching. So don't give yourself such a hard time. <laughs> Wonderful. Any tendency can be overcome. Wonderful. Yeah. We are not trying to eliminate tendencies of the mind. That's the main thing, right? The mind, in fact, uh, the, the wise person is described with this person who has clarity and all. These are all tendencies of the mind. That there is un, unlike the confusion, there is a flow, emotion flows are proper, uh, everything, attitudes are proper, the capacity to recognize what is required is, all these are what we call tendencies of the mind, which are shining actually. You see what I mean?
Okay. Now, your question I'm going to do is what Jiva Srishti and Ishwara Srishti. Okay. So, now, let's go to the last verse and in the explanation I will try to fit it. This is all fitting in. <laughs> so, I have to finish both. <laughs> Beautiful, the last verse is again describing this person, right? So what the person who knows this Brahman, is Brahman, right? You can't know, what does it mean? You can't know Brahman as an object other than you. Yeah? It's not possible. Uh, uh, this is only uh, 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 exactly, okay? So indeed the person who knows the exalted Brahman becomes Brahman itself. Now, look at this, beautiful. In such a person's family, there is no one who does not know. How is that possible? <laughs> <laughs> How is that possible? Because um, the, the, like the person became a wise person by knowing his uh, like, true nature. And uh, this means like um, uh, Brahman equals consciousness. So this person um, is Brahma by definition. And everyone who knows this person knows Brahman. Okay. Very good. Similar to that, what, uh, you know, I can't go ahead. Yeah, so I think that uh, whenever, you know, whenever you get this knowledge, there is uh, people uh, from around you will benefit from that, and the first ones who will benefit are certain family. Excellent. Mm -hmm. Right? So that means, any person who becomes wise, yeah, you, it's not possible, unless you decide to go and sit in the mountain, you are surrounded by people, right? And, uh, and the, the people who are around that wise person, they all benefit. Because finally, as um, Tobia was saying, I, that you need a role model. You need a role model, then you can say, yeah, it's possible, yeah. right? Somebody can have clarity, somebody can really be free, somebody can be well, free from this emotional burdens, somebody can uh, act, you know, spontaneously with caring. That wise person uh, becomes a huge role model for everybody around. And as Vio is saying, the person who are about this kula can uh, become two things. One is your real biological family and the other one is what? The Guru Kula. Right? The, the family of that, uh, you know, suppose that person is uh, taking a teaching role and everybody else who comes to learn from him. The, what is the word in Guru Kul? What is the, the name of, the name indicate? It's a family of a Guru, guru. Teacher. So that means you become like family members. So therefore, uh, suppose in uh, in your family, as uh, Vigo said, one person is wise, what is the uh, opportunity uh, that is given to everybody else? To become wise. Yeah, to become wise, to grow, to do things, and then in a safe environment where they can all become wise, right? So that means, once you meet such person and you have what certain capability to recognize the brilliance of that wise person and suppose you decide to stay with that person and what, sooner or later it's almost short. Because suppose even if you don't find in this lifetime the end, still what will happen, Ishwara will take you forward. This is why Swamiji always used to say that whoever uh, the, what, um, that comes to me, I cannot reject because they have come anyway, even if they don't learn completely with me in this lifetime, what at least I have put them on track. <laughs> <laughs> that is true. So therefore, uh, that you will get there is short. 
Now, there is another way of also looking at it for any person to become the wise person. What your parents have contributed. Whether you recognize, even if unknowingly they give you pain, they have contributed about, as Rukhshana said, it's an opportunity. In the sense that they have given you an opportunity, unfortunately, through pain. <laughs> Right? And this is why you were saying everything is an opportunity. Yeah, and she said everything is an opportunity. So that means even that pain impelled you to what? Look for some solution which otherwise you may not have Look search looked for. Uh, searched for. Right? So then for uh, the even, uh, the, you know, it was a little bit of a convoluted way of helping you, but at the same time, they did end up helping you. Right? Yeah. It was not a very straight way of helping you, but they did help you in some way. So that means that they have also, see, as we have seen, they have also, with whatever knowledge they had, what they tried their best. And I guess it's also important the intention behind, you know? Exactly. So that means now, uh, even uh, that the person who became wise, right, also grew up needed help of whom? Siblings. They had to learn how to what? Give. They had to learn how to what? Stand up sometimes. So they also contributed. So that means anybody's success is an outcome of work of so many individuals. Really. And therefore, if all these people have worked to make this person wise, all of them, what in the order of Ishwara, will have their own Benefit. benefits. This is also a fact. Right? A family which produces a wise person is not an ordinary family. The father has played his or her, and the mother has played her role, and the siblings have played, have played their role and also what the, the previous what the previous generation, the grandfather, the great grandfather, because we carry the genes, we carry the tendencies, we carry so much right behavioral patterns which get transferred. The love for knowledge can get transferred. So many things that right? you're not just born in one family just randomly like that. So that means somehow being born in that family, that family has given you conditions for you to become what? The wise person. And the benefit is certainly going to go to that family. And also, the posterity will be blessed. Right? So one person uh, gaining that wisdom is not a small thing. It has multiplier effect. So that means the own biological family benefits because they have contributed. The family of uh, the teacher, if the, if the wise person becomes a guru, then the family of a guru benefits, everybody benefits. So you make a small contribution to one person's life, even this much. You lift that person from here to here. How there is a multiplier effect. Right? So this is why uh, 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 instead of labeling people and things like that, you just do what the little that you can do to help the other person. And you're paving the way for that person to ultimately become what? Wise. <laughs> you're making your little contribution. Right? So this is what he says, that there is nobody who is without that family is blessed. There is a certain, certain blessing that the family enjoys, both the Guru's family and the biological family. Okay? So this is where the Upanishad ends. <laughs> so what a happy end, right? <laughs> it's like Bollywood, the whole drama happens. <laughs> All the discussions and all the things and all the, you know, like and this is exactly what the Walker was saying. Pseudo Q, middle is very tough, technical and all, mm -hmm. and in the end it all begins to be 
beautiful again, <laughs> easy, all the everything starts falling. I love this analogy. I love it. I'm going to use it now. <laughs> 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 Initially, it all seems easy, right? I mean, yeah, okay, yeah, Ishvara, okay, just everything is Ishvara. So, what's there to know? Everything is Ishvara. <laughs> right? Then all the complexities, the middle, middle part. Mm -hmm. You have to come out of this easy Vedanta that you have created for yourself. <laughs> then you, all the complexities, and then it becomes, oh my God, I didn't think about that, and oh my God, this connection, I mean, it becomes happy. Then later on, landing. <laughs> landing is all safe, beautiful, cheerful. You are happy, you make everybody else happy. Ishvara will take care of all of them. <laughs> Wonderful. <laughs> right? So Bollywood, they knew this. That's why, in between with all the complexities, head is always, there's, it's never left hanging. Like, <laughs> like, oh yeah, okay, all of a sudden I'm depressed and the movie ended. The <laughs> 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 so movie always ends with what, yeah, okay, after all the depression and all, you know. So there is a movie, it's a nice movie, it's called Abhiman. It is a, uh, you know, it shows like pride, human pride, what it does. Interesting. So I'll just tell you, and then my movie is over. <laughs> <laughs> so there was a, this husband and wife, and both were singers, and both got married. And after the marriage, the woman, woman started becoming more successful, and she started getting more contracts, and she really started shining. And this husband was feeling what small and insignificant. Now, the husband could not stand this smallness and insignificance, but he was never able to verbalize it. He was not able to tell her that I'm feeling small and insignificant. He had his own pride, Abhiman. So therefore, he was just kind of pretending and, you know, making her at times feel small and, you know, and he himself started what having an affair with somebody else, right? Because she was, her success was too difficult for him to handle. So as he started having an affair, then you know how the, it, life doesn't let you uh, move like that for too long. Mm -hmm. And then she finds out, and then all the mess starts, right? Now in that mess, what happens is this woman who was so talented, his wife, who was so talented and such a big star she had become and all that, she was under such a shock that her husband, you know, first of all, not only was not happy with her success, but secondly, just moved away and started, you know, kind of uh, uh, the, the living a life which, you know, which was in her way, it was really a cause of a deep hurt. And that deep hurt made her numb. This is a story, Bollywood story, right? Mm -hmm. So that don't ask me questions on it. <laughs> <laughs> emotionally blocked and she also lost her skill to sing. So she became almost like a vegetable and then the husband kind of began to see what he had done to her. Through his own uh, actions, right, actually she was just a loving person, she was successful, she was shining, she didn't do anything to make him feel small. It was he who was feeling small and out of his feeling of smallness and his inability to acknowledge that smallness and work on it, he ended up uh, finding easy solution, which was just having a good time with somebody else and that caused a disaster. And now he had to figure out uh, and he, now he's ending up with a wife, he's ending up with a guilt. He was a sensitive human being also. The shock made him feel uh, highly guilty that his wife is now in this state. She's not unable to sing. She's uh, emotionally blocked now. And he's guilty and he doesn't know how to find a solution. 
So therefore, uh, he uh, goes to somebody and slowly, slowly, he embarks on his journey to what make her what sick again and also to become emotionally healthy again. And it's a beautiful movie about what all he does. And the first effort he does, do you think she's going to now start singing and uh, be emotionally? Doesn't work. But everything, small, 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 small things he does in the movie. And what is the culmination? Finally comes uh, a point where a, a, a situation happens and she starts crying. And that means when she starts crying, what has happened? Her emotional blockages are... And the, the minute her emotional blockages are gone, he initiates singing, because he himself is a singer, he initiates singing and she joins him in. And the end is, both of them sing together. <laughs> 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 beautiful movie. A Bollywood, Bollywood star of Amitabh Bachchan, right? So, the superstar. Movies always end like that. Not that oh, she's dumb and he's now having a good time with somebody else. And movies don't end like that in Bollywood. It sounds more like a French movie. Sorry? This, this depressing sounds more like a French movie. So yeah. It's yeah. <laughs> 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 a French movie that perhaps end with this, with this uh, woman is uh, left a uh, dumb and, uh, this day, and the guy is having a good time in Riviera. <laughs>
crazy. So, <laughs> so now what he does is he unties six cows and then he knows that the seventh is not tied again at all. So he expects her to move and the cow doesn't move. <laughs> So he goes and he says, my God, life doesn't cease to be without problems. <laughs> so he goes to his teacher and says, now I'm stuck with another problem, yet another problem. What? And this cow thinks that she's stuck where actually there is nothing. I haven't tied her. She's not moving anymore. The, the teacher said, what? Go there and now what? Pretend to untie it. So when he pretended to untie it, now the cow is <laughs> moving again. This is our pursuit. You think you are bound, you are never bound. So the teacher has to do what? Untie <laughs> and make you see that you are already free. But in between, there is a little bit of a journey. <laughs> so enjoy the journey. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Mm-hmm.